Oh, hello everybody. Today's October 1st, 2023. I'm Laura. I'm Brenda. And we are here for another floss tube. And Brenda and I have been chatting pre-floss tube and it looks very exciting around here. We've got a lot of good things to show you. Yes. And we're happy to be here. Before we get started, October is, we were just talking about this, our favorite month. Mm -hmm. Love this time of year. Yes, it's mm -hmm. the best. Love it. Mm -hmm. And just, I'm not going to say anything. Go, bro. That's, That's, all. <laughs> That's all I have to say for mm -hmm. all. You had a good day like yesterday. It. We had a very good day. Mm -hmm. A very good day. So Good. And last week we went to the Michigan game. We tailgated with my brother and his family. And it was a lot of fun. It was good for the soul. It was good for the soul. It was perfect weather. It was very relaxed. Um, we just had a super great time. So we're going to try to make this a yearly oh, good. Um, event to go there. And then um, my cousin's own couple distilleries. And we went there afterwards. There's one in Ann Arbor. And I saw my cousin. Um, I hadn't seen them in a while. So it was a lot of fun. It was a beautiful day just to sit outside. They all had adult cocktails. I didn't, but it was still, it was a great day. Good. Really, really, really great day. So good. Anyways, I did not stitch last weekend very much because of that. I'm but sure not. This was, family was more important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyhow. Okay. So, all right. So what have you been stitching on the last couple of weeks? One thing. What? One thing. thing. Very boring. No, it's good. Um, so here's, I haven't added any more stickers, I don't think, since last time, Cute. September. And October is a blank slate, right? I was the, noticing that sticker today. Cherry brandy? Yeah, do you remember where you got that? Mm. I just love these colors I together. Mm. I can't remember. I can't remember where I got that. Um, okay. Anyhow, what have One I been thing. One thing. Oh! James Parsons. Parson by the Wishing Thorn. Person, singular. Yeah. Oh, did I? Yeah. No, Parsons. it was me. I said Parsons. Oh. And here is my progress. Oh, say. I love it. I love it. What are you doing it with? It's on 32 count uh, Lakeside Lentil. Mm -hmm. And it's with the flower threads. Mm -hmm. And I just love it. I have all my flower threads in oh, here. that's fun. So it's this little bag Justine made us sometime this year. I think maybe at our, I don't remember now. But anyways, I love this Lori Holt fabric. So um, so anyways, that's all I've been doing. Well, it's that's just nice. working on that. So it's kind of, I'm ready for it to be done. Mm -hmm. But I will... Keep going. I love the flower thread. Give it a try if you haven't stitched with it. You can do convert anything simple. If it calls for DMC, there aren't too many colors. You can, there is a conversion. Um, obviously, they don't have 500 colors like DMC does, but you could do something mm -hmm. fun with it. Sure. So, anyways, anyways, you just scoot a little bit towards me there. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. I want your whole head in the frame. <laughs> Big old Big noggin. <laughs> okay, so here's my September. And if you'll notice down here, it says complete and total faffing about, which means I was just, who knows what I was doing. He didn't have anything to remarkable yeah. of stitching. I just had a lot of faffing about, like okay. this, that, and the other. Oh, so. I like that. Okay, so. In my bag from Diane, the woodpecker's daughter. Thank you again, Diane. I guess I yes. Okay. Let's see what's in here. I forget what I've done. Oh, yeah. Oh, last floss tube. I went home. <laughs> and um, I was going through the piles in my stitching room. And I had been looking for this particular chart for at least three months. Grace purchased it for me and gifted it to me. It's by Hands Across the Sea. It's Elizabeth Garrett, 1799, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And so I ran across it and I was like, boop, that's what I'm working on today. So I went through and auditioned a lot of green, some over-dyed cottons, 
some DMCs, but I went with DMC 520. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I wanted Brenda's floss drops. And then I auditioned lots of fabrics and I'm using Millstone by Legacy Fiber Arts. Oh, I love that one. I did a couple yes. things on did that you? last year. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it looks perfect with Elizabeth oh, and the green yeah. thread. So that's oh, it's where beautiful. I am. It's beautiful. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Yeah. And I... Oh, right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's really, beautiful. really gorgeous. Yeah. I love that. You did good picking out a great green and a great I fabric. Know. That looks I was so very good. Pleased with that. You know when you pick the right color combination of thread and the linen? Mm-hmm. It just I don't know, there's just something right about it. As yes. our friend Kelly says, it just sings to yes. you. So I worked on that for a while. Who knows why I stopped? I mean, I probably saw something on Instagram or I don't know what, but okay. I'll fix that. Will you fix that? Thank yes. You. Okay. Then, oh, look at this bag. Is that not the cutest? Yeah. Vintage Halloween. Yes. Okay. Then for some reason, I don't know why I pulled this out which I started a long time ago. Oh, let me just say this. My friend Colleen, Rebel Stitcher, I don't know, maybe three videos ago, she did a Prairie Schooler chart parade. Go watch it, it's so fun. Anyway, maybe that's what got me onto this. Oh no, I think it was. <laughs> Tanya from the Scarlet House posted, she yes. was doing her Chris Halloween decorating so cute so check that out on yes, instagram she did one of these little one of these yeah. here and put it in like a cloche or something also this one here brenda did a mm -hmm. long time ago and mm -hmm. every year when i see it up here for halloween i just i swoon. haven't gotten any of my that stuff out yet yeah well it's still early so i worked a little bit on this oh i love i love Classic prairie schooler is just... I know. If you were on a deserted comfort. island mm -hmm. and you just hit prairie schooler, you could still have lots of fun. Mm -hmm. I love this one so much. I've loved it for years. That's why it's taking me years to do. I want to draw it out. Har, har. <laughs> I'm using R&R &R Winter Brew, I think. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. 40 count R&R &R Winter Brew. Oh. With DMC. This is so cool. And you know when, I mean, the, the original Prairie Schooler charts are the, mm, the cardstock. Yeah. Even, you know, if you don't have them and they reprint them, get the paper ones yeah. just because they're classics. Yeah. You know, so fun. And it, um, you know, they're just good DMC colors, mm -hmm. just readily available. Okay, so you know what? Next Wednesday, I'm going to be driving with my friend Jody, Trixie Tricycle, to London, Ontario, Canada. So we're, I got to look at the route, but we're going to basically go Illinois, Indiana, through Michigan, and over to Canada, which I've never done before, driven to another country. So that's going to be fun, and we're going to the Modern Folk Embroidery Retreat. It's called Jacob Palooza. It's put on by Evertote. And so I wanted to have a, a project by Jacob going. And so I pulled this one from my stash, which I just love it. Mm -hmm. It's called EMCM Anno 1787. Oh, that's old. And it's a very small little sampler uh, charted with DMC. And I'm using 40 Count Mayflower by Fox and Rabbit, which is so gorgeous. And I did a little start on it. Oh, you did more than a little start. Yeah. That's pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. That Mayflower is just... Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Stunning. Beautiful. And I put all my DMC on floss drops, very special floss drops, that Krista Gramer got for me when she went to Liverpool. Oh, those are cool. Aren't they? Oh, I remember when she you did remember that? Yeah. So... 
Yeah, and I wrote them in pencil so that I can use them again. Okay. I mean, this is cool. Very Who's cool. your favorite beetle? I don't. I know. I don't. <laughs> no. Here's I, mine. I don't care for the beetles. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm going to take you out back with your Star Wars and your... Oh, my. George is my favorite beetle. Let me know in the comments who yours is, just for fun. Okay, so there we go. That's exciting. I know Krista's favorite beetle is the Rolling Stones. You'll get that if you know Krista. Okay, now then, that brings us to my big dilemma, which I think I've solved. I have a very, very, very special project that is going to be housed in this tomato bag from Barry. This is a work of art. I don't even know how one makes this, but she did. So <clears throat> let's just open it up. And I've talked about this before and they're uh, right on cue is the cuckoo, right on cue. Okay, this is AKGIT 1833 of Veerland Sampler by Modern Folk Embroidery. The minute I saw this, I went ape and said, I must do this. And then as we went along, uh, our friend Katie is doing it. Our friend Karen is doing it. Our friend Barry is doing it. Justine, our friend Justine is doing it. Uh, Linda from Australia, who I met yesterday uh, on Zoom, is doing it. So, now, I think I've talked about this before. Every time I see Katie's, I have an H&H, &H, which stands for heart attack and hernia, which is probably not a politically correct thing to say because heart attacks are not funny, and neither are hernias, but I just say it. Yeah, it is. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, when I first ordered the chart from Evertote, I ordered the called for cotton floss, and it's named Veerland because it's what Jacob thought it should be stitched with. It's gorgeous, but when I started stitching with it, all I saw is brown, when in my head I had more of a blackish brown. I started it on just the ticket. 40 count by Tabby no, Cap. Tabby Cap. Yeah. And it's gorgeous. There is no denying that it's gorgeous, mm -hmm. right? But there was just something wasn't working for me. If you're not happy, especially with a piece that big. Yeah. It's gorgeous, but I just, I don't know. I had Katie's in my head. Now, Katie's doing hers on 5360. Is that a Yeah. Thing? Cecilian Marzipan. Yeah, thank you. And she's using Soissoufine, mm -hmm. like a blackish gray. Mm -hmm. And it just has a totally different look. So I was trying to achieve that. Now, I'm not going to be doing it on 5360 or 46 or any of that because it's got to be something that I can do, which is 40 count. So I got 40 count baked, no, white clay by Fox and Rabbit. Because you know, you, you need a, what is this? A whole, a fat half, mm -hmm. a Portland cut. Okay, so I started it over on this, and I'm using NPI 998. Oh, so that's, that's how pretty. it looks. Yeah, it almost looks blue, oh. like a dark blue. What about when you look at it yourself? Even so? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's mm -hmm. fine. I like dark mm -hmm. blue. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty. Okay. It's a nice choice. But last week I had a hern about this because I thought, oh, it looks too thick compared to Katie's, which is dumb because Katie and I are not going to live in the same house with it right. all together, right. right? Right. So yesterday we had a support group meeting for the AKGIT people, and right before the meeting, I checked with my duet and I stitched a row in this 103 because this is the other option I had. Um, and it's got lighter coverage, obviously, but Mike said he liked the NPI, which, thank goodness, he did. And then <laughs> I talked to the support group, and they were like, are you kidding? This is going to be fine. So I had ordered two hanks of these from my friend Olivia, Hillside Rookery, who, by the way, if you need a custom order of NPI hanks, she can do it for you. So I'm all set with the 998. And that is what I will be doing. Okay. Then I even took it up a notch. I um, also have the PDF and I put it on this program on my iPad 
which you can mark it then, like mm -hmm. with your finger. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm really cool now. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. That like is, Pattern Keeper or something like that? Yeah, it's called Mark Up RX or something. I don't know. A nice lady at the Hobby House Retreat told me about it. Um, so. Good. That's the saga of that. Good. So, I like the white clay. Yeah, white clay is gorgeous, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so hopefully we'll just keep going. You got going. a lot of fabric and um, thread going on there. I know. Are you uh, it taking reminds this with you. What? I'm taking yes, I'm taking it with me so that Jacob himself can give me the okay. If he says he doesn't like it, then we're going back. Jacob, please. please don't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, this reminds me of our friend Nicole, who is one of my most favorite people on the planet, but. I always teased her so much. Like when she restarted, um, you know, that big one by Heartstring Samplery. Yeah. Um, a million times. The, uh, his, his eye is on the sparrow. Yeah. I mercilessly teased her about that. And now I, Nicole, I understand exactly what you were going through. And I have empathy for you. So if anybody else has these problems, I have empathy for this kind of thing now. <laughs> And it's in a very nice bag. A very nice bag. Very special bag. And we'll get back to this later. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. I know. Okay. So that's all the faffing. Oh, there was one more faffing about. Forgot about I this like one. This. this is a bag yes. just our friend Justine made me. Isn't that? Mm -hmm. She's very talented. Yes, she is. And very Super funny talented. and very nice. Okay. Remember last time I was having problems with Ann Rothmel? Mm -hmm. oh, the only problem I was having was the yellow yes. with the linen I chose. What did you do? Well, my friend Jean from the attic said, well, instead of changing the whole linen, why don't you change the yellow? And then that sweetheart sent me some yellows to try. Oh, she's nice. Okay, so... Here's the called for yellow, mm -hmm. which you would think would show up everywhere, mm -hmm. but it wasn't showing up too well. Is on this, this the DMC? No, it's Overa Oh, la di da. Okay. So I changed the yellow. I'm still, I'm still a little up in the air about the whole thing. This is the one I changed it to. Anyway, I'm not expecting anybody to tell me anything right now because this is just going to be in timeout but I just wanted to mention that I'm working on this issue among others <laughs> on my many issues um but I wanted to thank Jean because that was yeah that was very nice I mean Jean's really. nice that yeah. she's nice for she everything she nice yes yeah so, I miss Jean. I know. She's I've in Wisconsin. Her. Oh, we could drive up there this afternoon. If yeah. We, if we weren't so married to our stitching chairs for the afternoon. Yeah. Okay, so that's all my faffing about and stuff. Just okay. so you know. Good. Okay. We'll put everything away nicely now. And we shall move on to the next Here. issue. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well. I will tell you about a couple things I got this week. I didn't get much um, stash at all, which is good. Mm -hmm. I did get from Ooh. Australia the sewing club, and I'm telling you, these this is the, uh, such a special treat to get these all the way from Australia, and how they're packaged. You know, they're all nicely wrapped with this gorgeous tissue paper. And this one is, thank you for the sweet little cards. Laura got a I, stack yeah, of them. As an aside here, I haven't read them yet. I'm saving them till I go home. But I see that Reese and our friend Sue and Miss Lynn and Jean and some other, they sent me little notes. Mm -hmm. This, thank you. Okay, back to Brenda. And this is this um, month's or quarter's project. It is by GGR. 
you can stitch it as a long sampler and or you can stitch it like this and have it made into a needle roll like that and here's the beautiful thread fabric they give you the little end for your to finish this and they give you thread to wrap your spool and, and this gorgeous fabric to finish that so i want to start this right away oh the lady uh the stitcher who originally did it is constant constant spirit that's a cool name this is such a beautiful kit it's not even yeah, funny it's just beautiful you know ggr's charts are yeah stunning and this little treat that comes every quarter is just awesome. Just, just awesome. I'm mad it passed me who didn't sign up for this. I will be signing up next year for yes. sure. That's, yes. It's just a great yeah. um, thing to get all the way from Australia. Yeah. And it's so nicely yes. boxed up. And it's in. from the Cruel Goldwyn. Yep. yep. In Sydney, Australia. Yep. And then what else did I get? I did get some. I did get a couple things. I got this oh, from fun. Teresa Kogut. I mm -hmm. love that. And then there's these smalls down here. I thought, I just love that. I got my fancy floss. Oh, Weeks. Oh, I got to join the Weeks. I'm yeah. just in the classic color works. So I just think that's a nice little treat to get. It's fun. I got this. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked through it, but um, there are a couple on the cover that I like. So I just get them every year. I like this one right here, Noel. Mm -hmm. um, I wish, I wish they were like they used to be. Yes, sorry. Um, that the paper was like the um, Punch Needle and Primitive magazine, um, but it's okay. I still enjoy getting it. Good. I got the Anjou pears. Oh, what color are those in? They're like in a fall color. Oh, cool. Sh um, shades of wine and red dust are dinky mm. dyes. Mm. Yeah. I got Pretty Bird oh, by the Arts nice. Housewife. I like that. I'll come back to that. And then I got this by Hands to Work. Because mm -hmm. I just, I like that. I like the colors. Beautiful. I just... I think this probably came out at market or maybe it came out in August at the needlework, whatever. Did you see Tracy got a new puppy? I did. That's so exciting. It is. Then I saw this on Instagram that they had some of these left. This is from a retreat that little Robin did. What? And, they um, had some left? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have... The biggest H and H right now. Do they have any left? Still? I don't know. You'd, I called. I called on Wednesday. She popped it in the mail, and I had it here. Is it Mount from Prospect. Stitch Etc.? Yes. Because if it's what I think it is. Yes. Mm. Calm down. Okay. So it comes in this nice little box. I got the whole shebang, as I told Ashley, her daughter. So it comes with this painted box. And they give you instructions for mounting your piece on it. Mm -hmm. And then inside this nice, you know me in boxes, <laughs> is, well, here's the piece that you put on the front, the linen for it. Mm -hmm. And then some little bling. And then this is the yeah. chart. Oh. And this is the little piece you do here. And here's the fabric. Wow. And all the threads. Okay, this sampler is one of the best I've ever I know. seen. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And when I saw that they had some left, I quickly called. And it was late in the day, but she, Ashley got it out that day. Dropped it off the mailbox. And it was in. And then the little box That's here. Yeah. So. And I think that was the first retreat Robin ever did. Yeah, it was. It and was. Robin, you did a great job. Yeah. Amazing yeah, awesome. project. Um, wow. Awesome. And the presentation, you know, this is all beautiful. And it says, here I had to um, cut this a little bit. Mm -hmm. It says, 
you know, little robin That's designs. That's beautiful. Isn't that nice? And it was, it's got the proper stitcher and stitch, et cetera, because oh. they, um, they posted the retreat. Yeah. That so, is so nice. I was so excited to score that. When I called, yes. I wasn't sure if there was going to be any left, but yeah. there was. Okay, that is a big score. That is. Score. I'm not going to drop that. Okay. Then we got, you know, I've told you the story of when I was um, ordering these boxes. We were in Arizona, and it was 7 a.m. Phoenix time. Oh, yeah. And I set my alarm, and I I couldn't get on, couldn't get on. I finally went to the into the bathroom and ordered from there. It was just a funny story. So, <laughs> anyways... We got them. Red I ordered boxes. two. They came. I we're not going to open them. No, I've opened it. We're I not going to. We're not going to show anything no. on camera. I will say one word. Wow. <laughs> wow. So I'm going to say and, uh, enjoy uh, it when you get it, no matter how you open it, yeah. whether you're restrained like our friend Penny, and. I mean, I just can't fathom that. I waited an hour from the time I got wow. home to open it because I needed to be in my yes. zone. Right. Um, and that's, I, wow. mine was sent here, so I haven't opened it yet because I want to be home. And I have to pick a time when Mike is done talking to me about stuff because I don't want to hear any chitter chatter about sports while I'm opening this. Yes. I was by myself that mm -hmm. night and I had gasped at a couple things and a couple things brought tears to my eyes that's all i'm gonna say okay so enjoy when you get yours enjoy it savor it um yes anyhow it was it's to me it was worth every single penny every single penny so what else we got um, I'm looking for a picture right now. Okay. Um, let me keep jabbering. Chipper jabber, yes, please. Okay. I also ordered. Oh, this is. Uh, you know, you are, are having superstar stuff here. Superstar. Yeah. Well, our friend Beth sent to Lynn at Penny and Tunny. She is on Etsy. We've showed her bags before. They're absolutely awesome. She's wonderful. Her name is Lynn. I think you can probably scan that to get oh, to yeah, her. Oh, yeah, I bet. Wow, we That's are modern. Yes. So, our friend Beth has sent to her, to Lynn, the tea towels from Hands Across the Sea and asked her to make them into project bags. And Beth showed them on Facebook and Instagram. Well, I was on that, like, you know, stat. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I contacted Lynn and asked her if she would be able to do it for me. She said, of course. So I sent her four tea towels because I had just had them up downstairs. That I was never going to use them for dishes or anything. <laughs> so here is what came back. This one. This is which oh, Anne, Anne Thomas, Thomas. Mm -hmm. and this is the back, and they are all lined with blackbird fabric. Unbelievable! Yep. So that's the first one. Very very nice. Good size. They're they they're feel really good. good. Yes, substantial. Yes, and the, they just, oh, it's just amazing. amazing. And Fittis, Jane Fittis, Jane. And there's the back. Oh my gosh. And then on the inside of this one is Blackbird. And then this is Anne Ufendel. That's so pretty. Doesn't it look like it's stitched? Mm-hmm. I mean, these tea towels are extraordinary quality. Unbelievable. That's Just Blackbird. gorgeous. And then the last one was Sarah Milthrop. Now, this one I don't think is out to everybody yet because this was part of um, Sanford Symposium. Yeah. I think it's going to be out in January. Yeah. And this one she lined with this Blackbird fabric. 
So, I bet you were excited when I was came. so super excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, <gasps> that's so cool. These will now be used. Um, mm -hmm. Then that crazy lady sent us each two other bags. This one, Laura, just about fell I, over. Yes, I gasped. I went ape. Look at this. Oh, show them back. I, I love this so much. I knew you would. <laughs> and then this one is Lynn's favorite because these are Australian wildflowers. Isn't that and she's cool? from Australia. I didn't know she was from Australia mm -hmm. and living in America. Yeah. I, had, I did not know that. that. Nice inside. And that she had just gotten back from Australia. And so she sent some Australian goodies. Some chocolate. I never heard of this one. No. Violet Crumble. Yeah, I don't know what. Um, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, that'll be in the car on the way home. And then she sent us a little reusable tote. You know, one of those things you can shove in your purse and then use it for a tote. And, and this then darling keychain. Cool. Which we could also put on our yeah. bags. Yeah. Look at that. No koala. Oh, you got the koala. I got the um, kangaroo. kangaroo. Oh, yeah. cool. Thank you, thank, thank you, Lynn. Thank you. And it comes wrapped. I, I mean, look at this. And then we saved this in one of the bags. Yes. So if you want her information again, I'm going to hold this up again, and you can scan it with your phone. Amazing. Penny and Tunny. Beautiful, beautiful bags. Yes. I That's am floored yeah and you if you have these tea towels and you don't know what you're going to use them for because you don't want to use them for dishes i highly suggest this because then you'll see them every day mm -hmm. and it will just be wonderful yeah. very so. very anyhow okay all right what's so the picture the picture is this it's from instagram and it's terry we met her. Yeah, I know, and I yeah. can't say her name right. Nimzura. Nim Nimzura. Anyway, I saw this on her Instagram and went ape. <laughs> These are all samplers from the Netherlands from the Groning Groningen samplers. Oh, they're not. Are they part of that Vierlander? Vierlander is northern Germany. Okay. And I need to look where Groningen the Gron Groningen area is. One of them I had, it was the 2022 stitch along from Modern Folk Embroidery, which I had about three or four stitches in. I was gonna keep up and have it done, but you know how that goes. Anyway, I just, um, I was called to these. So I knew I had at least two of these in my stash. Oh, so I said, let's get them all together and put them in the bag. bag. Yes. And so I thought, let's look at them. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, where's the bag from? This bag is from um, the wife of Pete's Beef. No, no, sorry. It's from Hummingbird Hollow. Oh, and I'm not sure if she's making bags currently, but she's on Etsy. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. I have my, I have my notes. Susie, I'm not yes. sure if she's still doing it. Yeah. Okay. So... What do I have in here? Let's just see. Holy smokes. I know. So, the first one was the, okay, I can't say that. Maybe when I'm up in Canada, I can take lessons from Jacob on pronunciation. But this was the 2023 Modern Folk Stitch Along. And I chose to do it with Roxy Flosco Chalkboard. And I wrote on here, oh, and I was using Lakeside 40 Count Maritime White. Oh, that's Penny's that's, favorite. Yeah, 46. And uh, I did work on this a little bit this week, too, when I was having my doubts about AKGIT. By the way, this is what my mom does not like. She doesn't like all, to show all the linen. Just get to the stitch part. That's what I'm trying to do, Mom. <laughs> okay. So I had maybe like this much done. 
So I worked on this a bit. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I want to keep this going too. Very pretty. I like the birds on the bird feeder. Aren't they cute? Mm -hmm. Look at those mm -hmm. guys. So sweet. And this one, this chart is fun. It's got a lot of cool things. I mean, it's got that ship in the middle. It's got this motif that you see a lot. I love that. Mm -hmm. These angels up here. I just love this. It's got a lot of little things in there. Yeah. Yeah. To draw your interest. Look at this little outbuilding here. It looks like a silo. Or a church, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a church. <laughs> the silo. <laughs> the silo church. So, okay, here's the other ones that I had. And look at this. I've got a bunch of NPIs with this one. All right, this is from, let's start at the beginning. Sampler Antique Needlework Quarterly, Volume 10. I don't even know when, how old that is. It's old. That's what the cover looks like. And this is the 1816 Edsina Peters sampler. Gore just. Mm -hmm. So I have that in a little bag with some NPI. What's but, the color for that? Um, 993. I don't know. Is it 993? Mm, yep. So I can start that whenever I want. Me back in business again. Mm -hmm. uh, then I had this one. Oh, that's not Groningen. Neither is that. Okay, this is the only other one that's a Groningen sampler. And this I just bought recently at the attic. It's by, oh gosh, I was going to remember how to say this now. Sodi ID. Uh, Elizabeth Dornboss. So this one I was thinking. I like that. And this is the one that I bought when I met Shandina. And we both got it. Well, she picked it out, and then I was like, oh, I'll do it too. But this one, I may use this. Oh. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't know if one spool's enough. But I would think so. It doesn't think look so? like a big sampler. Yeah, it's yeah. not that big. It's, yeah, it's like 200 by 200. That should be enough. You think 40. so? Okay, mm -hmm. good. So, I'm very happy about that. And I'll put this in this bag now. Bip. In other words, Brenda, put this in the Oh, yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> so then I was looking through my stuff at other, like, black and white samplers. And here's one that I love. Why haven't I started it? It's Erna Hiscock. No, it's by Erna Hiscock. <laughs> it's Mary Catherine Harris. And it's got the one with the zebra. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That would be such a fun stitch. I'm going to get some more, when I go to Canada, I'm going to get some more uh, Roxy Flosco Black and do this one. I love it. And this one I got a long time ago. Yeah, we saw this at mm -hmm. um, the Scarlet Letter when we went there. Yeah. And I have in it a bag with a bunch of... Blackboard. Blackboard by Gentle Arts. That's pretty. Yeah, now that one I can see the black-blue kind of... Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of on a black and white sampler kick at the moment. I mean, among all my other kicks. <laughs> okay. I got we'll a lot of kicks. Yes. Yeah. We do. We have a lot of kicks. Yes. And we so. like the different things, different varieties. Mm -hmm. So so I'm very hepped up about this whole thing. Yeah. So Terry, thank you for that picture. It really um, spurred me on to, you know, think about some stuff that I have. And it's fun to see different people's, their setups and mm -hmm. their... And how they've shown, shown things. things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, if you um, if not watch the special by Catherine Adrian, which is Stitching and Costume, she does a house tour of her friend Angie, who lives in her Northern California. Oh, Angie Tiny House Stitcher? No. Oh, a different Angie. A different okay. Angie. Right. And it's uh, amazing because Angie stitches most of her things one over one on 25 count or 28 count. And Ooh. it's just amazing. And Catherine did such a great tour. Go watch it. Ooh, it's um, Stitching in Costume. And it's a special episode with Angie House Tour. Okay. It, it was great. That was really great. Cool. So, okay. All right, what else do I have? What's in my, this bag? It's not a hands across the sea something. 
It's, oh, well, I'm going to be all hodgepodgey. Um, I got this. Oh, Did you get yours yet? No, I get it tomorrow. Okay. Oh, for, it'll be here tomorrow. This is from uh, Country Samplers Club. I love this one. It's amazing. It's by Sylvia, Running With Needles and Scissors, and it's titled Milady's Courting Conundrum. And I was going to start this immediately on Friday, but then I had some other issues, so I didn't start it yet. But I did get everything all ready to go. It's Weeks Classic Color Works in 2 DMC. And this What's linen that? is 40 Count Heirloom by Needle Bling Designs, which oh. I have never stitched with, and it's gorgeous. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. It's, well, I can hardly wait to get mine. I know. I love that. So I feel the need to probably start the, this this afternoon. Yeah, because I think your words in your post on Friday was, you bet your body. Bippity. Bippity. Or, yeah. I'm going to start this. I know. So and funny. I was going to, but then, you know, life. Yeah. So this. That's very pretty. Is, it's just absolutely stunning. Stunning. And I like that Sylvia gives you some options here to mm -hmm. make little And smalls. she even charted those. Yes. It's yes. just, and her charts are gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So. Seriously. Wow. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to get mine. Yeah. Tomorrow. Okay, good. It's very, very, very exciting. So I've got that. What, what's happening over there? Okay, so then, um, what's all that? Oh, this is some more haul and jazz. I'm just okay. moving it over here. Okay. Um, last floss tube, I showed the primitive, uh, or the punch needle and primitive cross stitcher magazine. And Lori Rippey had a design in there that I thought was super cute. And she, the nice lady that she is sent us two of her new patterns. So... Here they are. Laura's got one, and I've got one. This little pumpkin one. And gorgeous. Isn't that so beautiful for fall? It's gorgeous. I just love it. And her website is, I'm going to hold this up so that you can see it. Then there's another, um, another picture of the one framed. Here's her website. So go you picture of the one frame. You can download these and you know which is so nice and it calls for I think DMC or you you know whatever. So you could start these this afternoon. So, Look, uh, the words on this are so adorable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It makes me want to start it. Stacks. I know. It's a, such a cute little Halloween. Oh my god. Summer gosh. for porches, summer for pies, summer for jacks with triangles for eyes. I just love that. Ode to the pumpkin. Yes. Oh, that is genius. I love this. And this so is So thank gorgeous. you very much, Lori, for sharing. Thank yes. you. Yes. She's oh. got some great designs. And I know Christy, um, our friend Christy? Or no, some, Christy, Christy. Um, Primitive. Oh, Daisy K? Yes, Daisy Primitives. K Primitives. She loves Lori Rippey, too, and she does a lot of her designs as well and decorates them throughout her home, I'm very so. excited to go home yes. and look at all her stuff. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And then our friend Michelle from Mama Loves You GB just released this sampler, Sophia Stafford. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that red house. Look at that beautiful border. I love it. This is on Mama Loves You GB. I think it's a website. I don't think it's an Etsy, is it? I don't think so. Oh, no. First of all, watch Michelle's yes. floss tube. Yes, every and week. I'm sure she has links below. Yeah. Yeah. So, but she doesn't have a floss tube today because that little scamp. Yes. Is scamping around in the the best place to be on the planet this weekend is a near London and Swindon, England for the Great British Sampler Weekend put on by Hands Across the Sea and Hobby House Needleworks. It looks absolutely fabulous. Oh, yeah. And I'm we had FOMO. Yes, big time FOMO, but I'm excited to see all the pictures yes. and everybody enjoying themselves. But yes, this is it. Yeah. 
Mama Loves You GB. Yeah, she, I love she's that. She's the uh, person who did Susanna Eccles, which I still need to finish, but is one of the it's beautiful. It's beautiful. She's done a lot of beautiful yeah. reproductions. She so. has. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Um, I just want to mention when I got my NPI from Hillside Rookery, I mm -hmm. threw in a couple of charts too. And I love these. They're by JBW Designs. And uh, the first one is Hannah's Bluebird Sampler, which is stunning. Oh, I cannot wait to stitch this yeah. too. And then I also got a sampler stocking. Oh, I like that. Isn't that sweet? I so, love um, Judy's little stockings. I know. They're just so cool. And every time you order from Olivia, you get a sweet postcard. And here's her shop. It's on Etsy. And it's very fun because, as I mentioned before, um, certain of the charts, mostly Kathy Barracks, if there's just... She'll kit up individual NPI skein, not skeins, but she'll take Lines. out yes, what you need. Go look at her shop. Mm -hmm. And she's got other people uh, besides Kathy Barrick. I mean, as you see, JBW. And, and she has a new floss tube. Uh, her floss tube name is Olivia B. So that is a very fun shop to go perusing on. Very, it, you know, it gives you lots of ideas and inspiration. Go ahead. Okay. Last Saturday, my mom and I went to our friend Kelly's house for an afternoon of stitching, etc. And Kelly has this finished and hanging on her wall. It's Miss Lucy Calcutt, 1826, by Just Stitching Along. And there's two Lucy Calcutts. The other one is 1825, I think. Mm -hmm. This is the mm -hmm. second one. So, um... You know, it was mind-blowing seeing it done and framed. And Kelly did hers on 32 count because she said she wanted it big, like as a big statement piece. And I thought, that is a really good idea. Mm -hmm. You know, pick out a couple things and do mm -hmm. them on 32. Like, you know, you're doing your Jane Parsons because right. of the flower thread. But, yeah, any, yeah, it was just amazing. I think this is so beautiful. It and is. the border, you know, it's all the same on three sides, and then that bottom border. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's amazing, and she is, you know, she's a lot of stuff framed, and um, it's just very exciting. You know what this means? Colorado cross stitcher. <laughs> I got an order from Colorado cross stitcher. By the way, um, I'm not through her latest video yet. I haven't watched the whole thing, but so far it's amazing, brilliant. It always is. I know. Always is. Well, this time she's talking about colors and warm and cool colors, and it's like a master class on this. It's so good. So go watch Sherry at Colorado Cross Stitcher. I will after um, football. Um, it came in this envelope, and I love this sticker up here. It says, your fun mail has arrived. Yay. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It is. So, um, what did you get? What did I get? Yes. Oh. Oh. You know, I. Narissa just finished I this. I know. She's in New Zealand. Narissa's Stitching Lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Gotta watch her floss tunes. Mm -hmm. She's very amazing. inspirational. So I just, I'm not starting this anytime soon, but I needed it in my stash for, you know, just in case. Then I think you had this. Mm hmm And I was like, what? I need that stash. I got mine at the attic. Okay. Mm hmm All right. So this is by Pineberry Lane, which I love Pineberry yep, Lane. I do too. So much. I do and too. And this sampler is just so sweet. Mm -hmm. What a fun stitch that will be. So, and then I got, um, Sherry has some stick stickers. Mm -hmm. She gets some cool stickers. Yeah. yeah. And then I got the threads for that Pineberry Lane, and I also got some of the threads for Sherry's free pattern of Oh Say, because I'm, I want to stitch that soon. And I tried to stitch it before, but I didn't have the right colors and blah, 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 and I had to have, you know, what she called for so, um, that is a free pattern on Colorado Cross Stitcher, and I cannot tell you how much it means to me that Sherry charted that little saying. Um, I don't, if you didn't 
hear us talk about it before. It's something my grandma used to say. Mm -hmm. and, and I I think only recently have I started using it in my vocabulary. But it's when you see something like, mm, like this. You look at that sample and you just go, oh, say, that's beautiful. So I need to stitch Ose, which anybody can get free on Colorado Cross Stitcher, I think it's .com, which you should go there anyway and look at all the stuff yes. she has. Uh, great shipping, great everything. Yes. Sign and up for her newsletter. Oh, her newsletter. You yes. got it. Yes. And every week. And it's mm -hmm. interesting every mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. But uh, I want to stitch Ose and then I bring it with me every time and then we can... <laughs> Then you can hold it up. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So that's what I got from Sherry. And she okay. always wraps everything like this, and that's fun. The polka dots. Yeah. Like Jean uses the... Um, the toile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good to have uh, your own... Trademark. You know, yes. Trademark mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tissue paper. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'm going to hush for a minute. Okay. Have a drink. Yeah. Mm. We... Um, excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> We received this from Lori from My Crazy Life. She has come out with a 2024 Stitchers Planner. And she sent us these. Um, they're awesome. You can get them from Carolyn at Evertotes. Or you can get them from Sherry at Colorado Cross Stitcher. Oh, okay. So, either way... Um, and here they are. And they have charts in here. They have all different kinds of things. Um, it's different from the Book of Days. I mean, obviously it has the calendar. But there's all kinds of other... Oh, I love that chart. This is the one. Oh, that's There's funny. a chart by Mama Michelle. Loves You GB. There's one by Finally a There's Farm one Girl. by Ellen Reed, Maximum Crush. Oh. It's just... It's a lot of fun. And yeah. Th there's one by um, Becca, Sambri Stitches. Oh, really? And Good. So, if you want it, go to Evertotes or Colorado Cross Stitcher um, and order them. So, and through her Etsy shop at mycrazylifelori.etsy.com. So. Right. So next year we'll have two books. We'll have yes. our book of days, which yes. we will never part from. Nope, that's our number one. And this is great for you know retreat planning and yes. everything else. And you can take this on a retreat because you could have people. Like sign it, your yeah. table friends. They this, oh, this back is here too. You See, know. they can put their name and their contract. Con contract. Yes, we're gonna contract, contract with everyone. Yes, <laughs> it's just got a lot of fun stuff in here. Stitching. Oh, kindness. this is funny. That's Packing funny. what to pack. Yeah. Snacks, projects, electronics. Oh, this is really good. Yeah. yeah, it's all it's all it's great and it's very. I like the spiral bounding. Mm -hmm. Bounding, binding, binding, whatever. We know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. We're hip to the lingo. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Because I don't have anything else other than okay. this. Okay. So. All right. Okay. Well, here's another thing I got in the mail this week. Uh, when we were at the attic in April and we got to go to Vicky's house, uh, well, this chart's been around for a while. Yes. Ellen Harrison, 1889. Mm hmm And... Uh, Emily C. and Megan, the wide-eyed stitching stitcher. child. Yeah. We all went ape over it because we saw the original and the reproduction at the shop. The original at Vicky's home. Anyway. So, Emily had a business trip, and it was in the St. Louis area. So, she went to Color and Cotton. Oh, cool. And what she did was she... I don't know how she did it, but she made a conversion... <laughs> To color and cotton Oh, that's threads. fun. Isn't it? So, um, you can call color and cotton and get Emily's conversion. And then they will send it to you. And then they have the conversion information. And so, um, as soon as Megan gets hers, I think we're going to start. Oh, that will be fun. Uh, I think Emily's stitching hers on baked clay by Fox and Rabbit. I don't know what I'll, I'll do mine on, but it's, of course... A weird sampler, and you know I'm very attracted to weird yeah, samplers. I love that. I love that big stag in the middle. Do you? I yeah. I would think that this would I think be just right because up early. it's so different. It's yeah. different, yeah. Oh, and then I saw somebody. I don't know where, and I don't know who, but whoever you are, you're very cool because they were working on this, and they said the stags 
face looks like a Star Wars character. So I am like, oh, yes, I am all over that. So thank you. Yeah, that, that took it up a notch for me. Here, give me that. <laughs> Brenda, and here's this too. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right, when I went to Kelly's last Saturday, I knew I wouldn't stitch. A, because... Uh, my mom and I had gone to AT&T first, and she got a new iPad upgrade. And I knew I'd be fiddling around with that all afternoon. And may I just say to everyone in the world, please, for the love of God, write down somewhere your passwords to things. Because my mom didn't know any of her passwords, and it was a nightmare. I love you, Mom, but write down your passwords. Please. For the love of God. <laughs> really. So I knew that there's no way in heck that I'd be stitching. So what did I do? I brought this Five. with me, with all the DMC. And then I sat there and I used this, which we'll talk about in a minute. Mm -hmm. And remember these that you gave me? They're from Tina Egner. Yes. These yes. beautiful floss drops. Yes. And I just sat there and put oh, them all. Cause you know, I love doing that. Especially yeah. when I'm sitting around talking to people. Yeah. So this chart is Mary Morgan's by Fox and Rabbit, which if somebody Beautiful. put these colors in front of me, mm -hmm. I would say, get them out of my way because I don't like them. But you know what? But, yeah. Go ahead. When you see this done, oh, you know gorgeous. what this would go with really well is that um, Thursday. Priscilla, Priscilla Dawes, Dawes by Kansas yes. City Girl and a Colorado World. Yes. These cult, these samplers would be they would beautiful be. next and I to have each other. Too. Yes. Yep. You are right. Mm -hmm. So when you go somewhere and you don't think you're going to stitch, bring along some thread, some thread drops, and this. And this is the most key piece of equipment that I own for stitching besides anything I stitch with. This is a floss winder, mm -hmm. and it's by... R and R Woodworks, KY. KY. Okay, there's the info, and you're gonna want to pay attention. Yeah, because I they have a new product, and they sent it to us, and we're going ape over it. So, um, but first of all, thread winders. Yes, and I am very lucky because I have about um, six or seven in different shades of wood. <laughs> Is that a word? Shades of wood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and I collect them and I love these and I just love you take your DMC and you pull it from the number side and you wind it around and then cut it in the middle. Okay. I, I love this. I think this is a great tool. I hate doing the DMC. Okay. Winding. Well, I'm telling you next time we're somewhere, we go to a retreat. Will you please bring all your DMC and floss cards? Cause you know, I have trouble concentrating and stitching at a retreat, but I could wind flo your floss like nobody's business. I'm going to get the whole line of DMC and make you wind it all. <laughs> well, I could do it. If, I know you If are. I go to enough retreats with you. <laughs> I would even do it at home. Yeah, get going. I want to do it. Yeah. Okay, so without further ado, their new product is a spool holder for your 103s or your sulkies. Anything that's on a spool, and it's amazing. Yes, it is just oh, um, there are no words how beautiful this is made. It's and gorgeous. it holds, I think, 21. She said one, two, three. right? Plus, they're going to 24. Have, 24. Uh, they have a thing like, uh, um, hang on, let me get to my information. This, this one that I chose is cherry, my Laura chose cedar. cedar. They're, they're going to have different colors, and I mean, if you use the spools, Sulky, the 103s, or I don't even know if you could do like every other one, the um, Anchor, you know? It's just, these are beautiful, just beautiful. And here is their card again. If you're out of the U.S. and the shipping seems... Like when you do the automatic stuff and the shipping is like crazy, just email yes. them yes. and they will fix it and talk to you and yes. make it more reasonable. So um, yes. they're very responsive. And I also yes. want to mention that Rich is a, a veteran of the military and we just would like to support him mm -hmm. as much as possible. Yep. And his work is just 
It's gorgeous. Yes. It, this is, uh, seriously. It's like a piece beautiful. of art. Yeah. Is what I have to say. I and mean, it will hold all your colors for your project that you're working on. I know. It's I'm so, so beautiful. excited to get out a hats project yeah. and use this. Beautiful. Yeah. So we are very, very excited. So, woohoo. Yes. Thank you very much yes, for sharing, thank you guys. Rich and Roxanne. Thank, 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 thank you. you. Thank you. I love it. They, I, oof. Yeah. When I opened it up on Friday, I was like, wow. I mean, look wow. at it. It's just yeah. beautiful. So beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, there's a little work for So you. Where, I, what happened to that um, thing? You're 103. Oh. Oh, I was, never mind, never mind. I, I don't put want to it somewhere. Sure. I know that was dumb. But I'm okay. telling you, I put yes. one on there and it works. It's just so yes. Yes. I will take a picture at some point with like I'll find a hats project that I've kitted up with hundred threes and mm -hmm. then may not be today because who knows. Oh here I got this. This is major. What's that? This is um a chart. Oh yes. By Krista Gramer, just stitching along. It's exclusive to Victorian Rose Needle Arts. Tinka. Tinka. In Florida. Yep. And the minute I saw this, I was... Boop. Shoom, shoom, shoom. Okay, Elizabeth Ferguson, age 11. It's a Scottish sampler. This part here looks so Scottish. I just... Ugh. All right. So, it came with... Let's see, what did it come with? Oh, I, you could get the linen, but I have some. I think it's stitched on R&R &R French Vanilla, which is gorgeous. But, Espresso. Yep. Oh, okay. I got the Belle Swap. Those are beautiful. Look at Those that. Those are beautiful. So go to Victorian Rose Needle Arts website. Yeah. And then you can see a picture of this. Look on Just Stitching Along on Instagram. It's wow. Yeah. It is a huge wow. And it came so nicely packaged with, you know, like this so the chart doesn't yes, bend. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I just ordered some stuff from Tinka. I don't remember what it was, but anyways. Very beautiful. Touring Rose Needle Art, just stitching along. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm becoming like Caroline and Jean. Or Carolyn and Jean. You know, I always have trouble with just Caroline and Carolyn. I do. Yeah. Um, Carolyn would be with a YN. Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah. I just, oh, off the top of my head, you know, because it's, it's Caroline in Canada, Evertoad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my good friends is Carolyn. Okay, we don't need to know. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to save this for the end. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this very lovely lady sent us some extra charts that she had. And it was very sweet. Very, very, very sweet. With a very nice note, Janice uh, from California. Thank you very much. And uh, we went through them and we love them all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, let's see, where's that other jazz? What other jazz? Oh, here, it's in front of me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, um, we got some beautiful new releases from The Old Man and the Bee, B-E-A. And they're gorgeous, gorgeous. Some are reproductions. One is an original. That yes. one's the original. This is the original. Okay, so The Old Man and the Bee yeah. is, um, they're on Instagram. The underscore old underscore man underscore and underscore the Here, underscore be easier. Oh. Also, they have an Etsy shop. The old man and the bee all run together. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Then they have this one. This is a faithful reproduction. I love, I love that. that. This next one, I love the border. Yeah, it's very different. It mm -hmm. has like two borders almost. Mm -hmm. Caroline Dawson. That's gorgeous. And then oh, that's this one. one is a red sampler. Ida 
a hunting house? Yeah. It's Gorgeous. So very pretty. Thank you very much yes. for sharing. Thank you, thank yes. you. So go visit their Etsy shop and yes. make a purchase. Highly cute. Yes. Okay, um, today's October 1st. That means it's uh, Dark October Stitching, which is something that Emily C. and Michelle from Cozy Egg started a long time ago where, you know, they just like talk about stitching Halloween stuff, fall stuff, that kind of thing. And they do it on the 13th of every month. Mm -hmm. 13th of every month is Dark, dark October Stitching, mm -hmm. where they stitch something, I guess, moody and Halloween-y dark, which I'm more of the Halloween-y cute type of person. But um, I found... I found this. Uh, I think this is an Evertote bag. Yeah, it is. See? Boop. It's an old, older one. Anyway, um, I just wanted to have a little Halloween parade. Okay. Okay. And these were just ones that I think I was hepped up about last year or the year before or whatever. Okay. All right. This is by Stacy Nash. It was a country sampler club piece, but now it's out for everybody. Jack's house can keep. Doesn't that look like fun to stitch. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that. that. Yeah. Okay. This classic Prairie Schooler Night Flight. Yeah. I love the 30 ones in each corner. Mm -hmm. This I've been wanting to stitch for 80 years. Heart and Hand Harvest on Dahlia Ridge. Love that. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Hmm. Isn't it cute? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, this one, also by Heart and Hand, Harvest Home. Those are cute, aren't they? They they look like, um, I don't know what, I can't think of the word. Halloween Tiny Town, a classic. Yes. Along with this cute one that goes with it, Halloween Frill. Mm -hmm. Okay, this. Oh, Teresa Kogan does such a great job. Yeah. Uh, this is Whimsy Witch's Angry House. So cute. Oh, yeah. I remember what I liked about this is if you look closely, that house does look mad. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tabby's Halloween. This is by Pineberry Lane. Autumn Blessings. Oh, I love her stuff. I know. And this is so about? cool with these, a, a yes. banner with these words and yeah. the lady in the middle. Okay, this is the one that I, this is why I found this bag. I was looking for this. I love that. So I might even, I have to go to Kohl's on the way home. Barf. But, so I might get to the DMC for this depending on how crazy I get with the need to get home fast. Yeah. With the red box and the stitching, the yes. Sunday afternoon stitching. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I got to keep that out. This I love. Mm -hmm. Oh, the little squirrel. Cecilia, heart and hand. She mm -hmm. is one of the nicest people I ever met, and I love this. Yeah, that's cute. This I have loved for a million years. A million I like it too. Halloween Pin Keep by Stacy Nash. That is so adorable. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And this, this is an old one by Pineberry Lane. I've stitched that. Have you? Mm -hmm. It's in a little pillow downstairs. Oh, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, more Pineberry Lane. This is adorable. Old Black Cat and Friends. See, she does um, Halloween so good. Mm hmm. It's it's very primitive. It's very mm -hmm. fall colors. It's just mm -hmm. cute. It's everything. Yeah, I mean, and look I, close at this lady. Yeah, she looks like Fanny. Yeah, um, I like the way she just framed them in these real tight little. Yeah, frames. you know what those are? She took it up a notch because they're old daguerreotype little frames. Like they're antique. They're, oh, okay. They're like real. Like you can't find them very often. Hmm. Anyway. Then I found in there something I finished. This is from Birds of a Feather, right? Yes, and it's just the top of this chart, and it is so cute. You need to get that finished. I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to the finisher, and um, that it's a girl wearing a witch mask, 
which I didn't see right away. And that cat. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That so cute. Oh, I have a big hunk of linen in here because I think it's good for Halloween stitching. Then what else did I find? Oh, I found this little blackbird thing I finished. Oh, I did that too. Did you do the whole box? No, I didn't do the whole box. I okay. did parts of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is in, uh, what was it in? Um, cast a Spell or something okay. like that. Yeah. That's cute. It was a book. Then I found this, which has nothing to do with Halloween. <laughs> you need to get these finished. I know. This is by Lottie Da, I think. I don't know. That was there. Okay, then I was working on this some this week too, but there's some mistake in it that's driving me nuts. I love this one. Mm -hmm. And this is one Tanya has pictured on her Instagram and it looks adorable. And I was doing it on the old week straw. And Oh, that's cute. Isn't it cute? Yeah. yeah. But I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. There's some mistake and it's driving me nuts. So Oh, here's the classic one where in a rule, a stitching law was made because this chart was passed on to me from my friend Kelly, who actually folded it. Now, what do we know about this, people? We do not fold our charts. We don't fold our prairie schoolers, especially. Anyway, I forgive her because she's a dear person. Yes. <laughs> we love you, Kelly. Don't yeah. listen to Laura. <laughs> so I have that in here. What's this in here? Oh, here's the start of some, I think this is when I first started stitching on 40, so I was like, oh, let's try this little, it's the little witch in there, but I think that's a little too small. I think it's cute. Well, it's cute, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, then we have this prairie schooler. And what I really am heft about is this. I love those words up there. I think it says oh, yeah. Halloween night or something. Yeah, the witching hour. Yeah. Here's oh, some this. more classic prairie I school. Know. Yeah. And more. I love these. Why don't I stitch them? Mm -hmm. I know. And this one. Oh, I, I love that pumpkin head at the top. I know. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. Oh, look what I have in here. Oh, from that, Count's Cut. Yes. Oh. Ooh, that takes it up a notch. This is boo to you. Didn't you do that pumpkin head? Uh, no. I started the pumpkin head. Let's see what's in here. Okay, I started the pumpkin head. There he is. Uh, what's this? <laughs> I don't know. This is, I need to get myself organized. Okay, and here's where we're ending up. This book by Teresa Kogut, Hello Halloween. This came out last year. Mm -hmm. I am obsessed. I love this sampler. Does this go with here? No, that goes with this okay. down here. Okay. It goes with my last point. So mm -hmm. there are so many designs in here that mm -hmm. I want to stitch. Um, let's see if I can find just pictures of them. This one? Yeah. The I like this one at the top there. Yeah. That, um, this yeah, one. spooky. Yeah. yeah, that's fun. Um, this whole sampler, I don't know that I'm, I love the whole sampler. I would like to do the whole sampler, but in the meantime, like just do a witch or, mm -hmm. and this. You could do a row and make it into a little drum. Exactly. Piece. Or a pillow or whatever. These guys, I love them. And then I saw on... Instagram somewhere this week. I need to do better about writing these things down. But I saw somebody finish this. And so immediately I was like, ooh, I'm I'm gonna work on that. So I did not have all the call for. I had I found this in my stash. Colonial copper is one of the colors it's called for. And DMC 400, but there were some other DMCs and a black. So that might be going in my stop Stuffing. at Michaels. Yeah. And then I found this, which oh, I bought specifically for Halloween stitching. This is by Needle and Flax, and it's called Endora, which is a brilliant name. So I might do it on that. You know where Endora came from? Bewitched? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, if you don't know that. I, I'm just checking. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, my husband has a crush on Elizabeth Montgomery. 
even though she's deceased. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, that and more is in this book. Oh, I saw this one this morning, too, on somewhere. Oh, good. Oh. Both cute, but yes. this top one. Look at him with his hat yes. on. That would make a good companion to the other I one that know. you finished. Yeah. I better get the DMC for this, too. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh. Hello, moon. Yeah. So, this is a key buy, must buy, let's yes. go, people. Yes. So Teresa's books are really, really good. I know. And then they have artwork in them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cute. So, um, yeah, I'm, I think I'll do one, I'll start one Halloween thing, take it with me when I go to Canada, because you know I'll be getting so much stitching done up there. <laughs> Which I'll be getting a huge, huge, huge reproduction Dutch sampler up there oh is that the one you chose yes okay so okay. um yeah. so you go wednesday and come home sunday, sunday yeah okay and they and i looked and it says it's about a six or seven hour drive okay so i hope it is only that okay you're probably gonna go through my old haunting grounds oh yeah way. if i do i will let you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. gonna pass adrian no that you're that will be too far south but oh. you'll be on i-94 okay. i think so okay you'll go by ann arbor I will wave, I will bow, and scrape. Let's just say <laughs> again. Woo -woo. Okay. All right, so what do you, you're going to still work on Jane Parsons? Jane Parsons, but now I'm a little excited about some Halloween. Are you so. going to go, like, rifling through I, some yeah, stuff? I might do that. Well, that would so. be fun. Yeah. If Pineberry Lane, that's the one I will pull out. Mm, so That sounds exciting. Yeah. Or some Prairie Schooler, we'll see. Okay. What about you? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do some of that and some of this, and I don't know okay. what I'm going to do. Oh, you have a big week ahead of you. So. Yes, I do. We will be back in two weeks yes. on the 15th. So happy stitching. Enjoy October. Mm -hmm. I love this time of the year. So. It is the best. You will have a great trip over because of the color changes. Oh, yeah. 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 Plus, uh, I mentioned, right, Jody's driving with yes. me. There yes. and back. Yes. So, so that'll have fun. fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's flying in to O'Hare from Seattle, and then we're picking up a car and driving. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Road That's snacks. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> you could take this. Yes. I could take that. Oh, that'll yeah. be gone today. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. okay. Have a good couple weeks, and we'll see you in two. Okay, bye. Bye.